I'm standing here with Jason Amato, our men's open overall champion here at the NPC Team Universe. He's got the new IFBB Pro Card going in his pocket. You're, uh, you might have had the loudest cheering people. They were deafening my ears. They were screaming so loud for you. Yeah. Did you hear them? I did. I have a lot of support, and uh, they know how hard I work. That's why they support me every day. They were, I mean, I, I've never heard anyone screaming so loud. I mean, they were, they, you looked almost like uh, terrified up there by these guys. You know, I've been doing this for three years now, and they've came to every one of my shows, and I'm very thankful to have them in my corner. Well, you know, you have a good story because you did this show three years ago. You were 10th here. You did Junior Nationals last year. You were 13th. A lot of people would have said, ah, you know, I don't know. But, you know, you, you just never gave up. You came back here. You won the overall. I mean, what changed in these last two years? When I did the show three years ago, I felt like absolute garbage. Um, I told myself I was never going to feel like this ever again. And I used that as fuel to really push me every day in the gym and get back to the show because this is where I really wanted to prove myself. I had a personal goal and I accomplished it. Now, you're a tall guy, obviously. Yes, sir. You know, so obviously it's a lot harder to add enough muscle to kind of balance your frame out. You got great symmetry, small waist, you're good pose, a good presentation. Um, you, it seems like you left no detail on, on, I guess you could say, turn, so to speak. Yeah, I've been working with uh, my posing coach, Kenny Wallach, a lot this offseason and leading into the show, and it really made me look a lot better. It's always nice to win in your hometown of New Jersey. Of course, yeah. That's why my cheering section is so big because it's not too far of a drive for my friends and family. Now, are you going to maintain this for the, for the Jersey Shore beach scene this year? Um, I don't know. Or back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board and uh, see how I have to develop myself into a real IFBB pro. Yeah, now, that, now that's a, a good a good point here because you got a pro card, but obviously you haven't been training that long. You have work to do being a tall bodybuilder. Um, what do you do now? Do you kind of take a few years off and regroup? I have nothing but respect for IFBB pro bodybuilders, and I know that this is just the beginning for me. So now it's back to stage one. Yeah. You know, I got to work my way back up. I know it's a. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon, so I gotta really work hard. Yeah. And you're only 25 years old, so you got your whole career ahead of you. But you got one more show that you are gonna do because you got the World Championships coming up. You're qualified, they gotta, I, the NPC's gonna send you out there representing Team USA. I've been there a few times, not in competing, but it's super exciting out there. You get to interact with all the international bodybuilders from around the world. How does that feel to you, You know, knowing that you're going in there representing the, uh, the United States? Honestly, I'm speechless. <laughs> I really don't have words to really describe it. Um, I can't wait to get back to working, working hard and developing myself with my coach, IFBB Pro, Dan Houghton and I'm just looking forward to everything the future holds. Now obviously the NPC Team Universe is a drug tested show, so obviously that presents another you know, handicap, so to speak. Uh, has that temptation uh, ever gotten the best of you at some points where you say to yourself, man, I wish I could just take a shortcut and put on muscle faster? No, I purposely do this show because I feel like it betters my chances because I, I pride myself in that and I really pride myself in working hard and harder than the next guy and that, there's no issues in that department at all. Now, obviously getting ready for a competition like this of this caliber, you want to bring the best conditioning you could possibly do. Do you have a trouble, you know, when you're dieting, suffering? I mean, do you have to really suffer or does the weight come off pretty easy for you? Um, I don't really suffer. Um, my coach keeps me pretty full. Um, I respond quickly to fast cardio and the weight usually drops off and he knows exactly what to do to get me dialed in. So it's more of a loading up and then cutting the last few weeks. Yeah. Well, you look fantastic on stage. You really outclassed the lineup here tonight. You're the champ and a new IPBL. Congratulations. Thank you so much.